how to use Chainlink Oracle for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a quick tutorial on how to use Chainlink Oracle and how you can get started as a complete beginner. So let's get started. What is Chainlink Oracle? Chainlink Decentralized Oracle Network provides a temporary proof inputs, outputs, and computations to support advanced smart contracts on any blockchain. In simple words, we can convert our digital assets to a blockchain and we can connect it to a chain through our chain link oracle. So first, what you can do is you can go to a platform chain.link and it will take you right here, the chain link oracle that allows us to simply temper proof inputs, outputs and computation to support advanced smart contracts. So to get started with it, you can just click on start building and then it will of course take you to the chain link documentation and here i will be able to simply uh, get started so just click on get started and here we have our on a chain link overview when it comes to a chain link oracle it's in simple words it's really easy what we can do is we can just tell our chain link that okay this is the data that i have and i want you to connect it to a blockchain and that's what it does for us and it's really really easy if we speak about it but there are complicated things of involved in it and today i will be actually showing you all of the different things you need to know as a complete beginner and how you can get started with it before we uh, get into the video Video, I just want to clarify that this video is not a financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. Dealing in crypto, dealing in all of these things, it also involves a high degree of risk or whether you truly understand Chainlink and Oracles. So make sure that you do and then you can just simply use the platform. I'm giving you an overview about Chainlink and how you can use it. So that being said, let's continue with the video and you can see when it comes to getting started, we can deploy our first contract to the chain link really easily so you can see right here metamask wallet so that's what i'm gonna do we need to connect our wallet first and then if i have any kind of asset on my wallet i will be able to simply add it okay so we need a new network which is rings by test network so this is the network that we need on our metamask wallet so that's what i'm gonna do first i will open up my metamask now so i have opened up my metamask if you do not have a metamask you can get a metamask really easily you can just go to metamask.io and you will be able to get it there is also a video on the channel on how to get your metamask wallet so now we need another network as i showed you and you can see right here your metamask will look like this like on ethereum so I need to connect it to our other test network for our chain link. So this is the network right here. And I'm going to open up my MetaMask now and connect it. All right. We want to change it to from Ethereum to RingBuy, right? So I'm going to click on switch network. And there you go. We have RingBuy Ethereum. This is what we wanted. So this is the first step that we need in order to uh, deploy our assets. So if I go back, you can see now we have this one right here. Okay, so the first step is done. Moving on, now we need to add funds to our MetaMask. So you need some funds right here. One, two, whatever. Just add your funds. Moving on, your first contract is simple example. So this is your first contract right here. You can open up your smart contract wherever it is. And you can also like open up an example. So this is like an example for us. It's a smart contract. So you can see right here, this is a smart contract. And you can see right here, this is a code sample for the smart contract that we have. And this is like the chain link sample tutorial. And this is like easy. So you can see right here, we have our smart contract. So now what we need to do is we need to simply go to this right here, which is compile our product right here, our first contract. So uh, this is our smart contract right here. Now I'll show you how to deploy a smart contract to your MetaMask, right? So once you're here, you will be here, of course, then you need to click on this option right here. Now in advanced configurations, you will get compile this one, the project. So I'm going to click on this one and it will just take a second. Perfect. Now we have all of these different options. And what we need to do now is I'm going to click right here and it will be done. You can see right here. Now I can move on to the next step, which is deploy and run transaction. Now this is where I have my account info as well for my wallet. And we have our value. We have our contract 
like everything. So this is where we are right now. And what I can do is you can see I'm getting the deploy option right here. And you can also select from here that this is the project that you're going with my contract. I'm going to click on deploy. Once you click on deploy, you can see right here it's running and it will just take a second and it's done. So now I have like my deployed my project and now I can move on to the transaction record and I can run the transaction and click on save. Once I do that, now it will open up my MetaMask for me. And what will happen is I have to confirm my transaction from there from my MetaMask. It will just deploy my smart contract to a blockchain to my wallet right here. And this is how the deploy works. And it's really easy to do. You can now just go to the deploy and that's it. You can also add a address if you want. You can load contract from an address as well and you can save the details. Now, if you will open up your MetaMask, it will show right here. So this is how you, you can deploy a smart contract to your blockchain using chain link Oracle. So this is how easy it is to use and it allows you to develop your chain links to from your smart contract to your wallet. Uh, in my case, I am using MetaMask. And now we can just simply go to the search option as well. If you have more than one files, you can search and exclude more files as well. At the bottom right here, I'm getting more options for my inactive modules. We have a cell right here that I can activate. We have debuggers, DeFi explorers and DeFi tutorials available as well that I can activate. And there are a lot more options and permissions that I can give as, as a plugin manager. So this is where we can add plugins as well. And these are going to be my basic settings we have general settings right here we have github as well but i showed you the easiest way to simply deploy your smart contract to your metamask and you can see right here i also showed you how to add ring buy on ethereum with your metamask and you will be able to now simply use Chainlink or right home so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to tell you everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know how to use Chainlink Oracle networks that provide you temper-proof inputs, outputs and computation and you will be able to support advanced smart contracts on any of the blockchain don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to the youtube channel